This was said by the Director of Planning at Oshana Regional Council, Tiopolina Mbangula, during a meeting with the National Council Standing Committee on Transport, Infrastructure and Housing at Oshakati. A total of 709 toilets were constructed in 12 constituencies between the 2017-2018 and 2021-2022 financial years. Rural toilets are limited to households only, benefiting orphans, pensioners and people with disabilities, but the committee questioned the requirements. Now when we look at the criteria of beneficiaries, there are three beneficiaries categorized to benefit from this sanitation, which is pensioners and orphans and people with it, living people living with disability. What about the general community, those who are not able? They say you start with courtesy at home, so the strategy here is that we want to construct toilets to poor households so that they take ownership and so that they are also able to clean this toilet and maintain them because once the toilet has been constructed and handed over to a certain household, the ownership lies with that house for to make sure that they maintain it, they keep it in a good condition. Bangula says although much was done to provide toilets to rural communities, the region is still having 46,4% of households without ablution facilities. Sanitation, one can say, is very much effective. And it can also be ineffective because if you find yourself in a constructed toilet, if somebody goes behind the bush, which becomes ineffective, it does not serve the purpose of the toilet. But all in all... This is what we are advocating, that toilets are supposed to solve the problem. Sanatania Imbodi, NBC News, Oshakati.